the thing for us is, is it life-threatening and is it contagious? And that's what we need to know. That line rings true that native animals don't handle it as well as domestic, so I'm always right on edge, but have faith in the vet. Now I can finally have a look at Jack. The reality of his problem is quite breathtaking. Hey Timmy, what's up? And you need me up there now? All right, I'll see you soon. All right, mate, thank you, bye. Chris is responding to an SOS from Tim Faulkner, the general manager of the Australian Reptile Park. Tim's pretty good with his animals, so for him to have to call me in, you know, this has got to be serious. Hey, Timmy. Hi, mate. How are you, buddy? I'm good. Thanks for coming. That's all right. Now, yeah, where's our patient? I've called Chris to the reptile park today because one of our star koalas, Jack, he's two years old, has bumps all over his nose. We've never seen anything like it before and it's important that Chris has a look and tells us what it is. That's the way. There we go. Jeez, it's quite dramatic. Have you ever seen it before? Not like this, no. I mean, I've seen a similar sort of thing on other animals. But never on a koala, and never that dramatic. Now I can finally have a look at Jack. The reality of his problem is quite breathtaking. Lips, eye, nose. It's like he's got these volcanoes that have just erupted. Yep. The thing for us is, is it life-threatening, and is it contagious? And that's what we need to know. How many koalas have you got here? 20? Yeah. Yep, and he's the only one with it now, and that's how we need to keep it. If Jack's condition is contagious, it could be devastating to a koala population. He's been housed with other koalas, and it could already have spread. It's not like they're scabs. I mean, they, they don't just come off if you, if you grab hold of them. They're, they're actually firmly attached, and they almost look like they're coming from, from deeper within. Yeah. There's a couple of interesting things about this. I mean, the timing for yeah. me, the fact that he's just coming into sexual maturity. Yeah. Maybe it could be related to that, that change in hormones that he's currently sure. experiencing. The fact is, right now, everything's on the table in terms of what could be causing these lumps. They could be bacterial infections, and over time, they become fibros. Worst case scenario, it could be tumours. They've taken hold of all these parts of his body and are now starting to show their signs. The only way we're going to know is by taking a biopsy. Yep. We need to actually take a sample of those cells, yep. look at them under, under the microscope, yep. and work out exactly what's happening. Okay. Koalas are already a threatened species. Their numbers are in massive decline simply because of bushfires, habitat destruction, and even chlamydia. Now, to potentially have another issue they're facing with what Jack has, it's not a good thing. Let's go. There we go. All right. Let's go get that biopsy. Right, one, two, three. Chris and Tim have arrived at the Green Cross Veterinary Clinic, five minutes from the Australian Reptile Park. Hello, how are you? How are you? Good. Jack's here for a bit of a nose job. The two-year-old koala is suffering a horrific skin disorder, which is rapidly spreading over his nose and mouth. He doesn't look any more attractive, does it? No. All right, so we're going to get some gas into him here. Vet nurse Norell is helping to anaesthetise the little native, so a tissue sample can be taken from his nose. Yeah. You go back to right. Obviously, taking a biopsy in such a, a sensitive part of his body, he does need to be asleep for this, so that's why we're using the gas and the mask, and hopefully he'll be relaxed in, in just a moment. Good man. It's OK. Man. It's all right. Being knocked out under anaesthetic, it's always a worry, because that line rings true that Native animals don't handle it as well as domestic, so I'm always right on edge, but have faith in the vet. OK, so we'll just be quick here. So the moment that mask comes away, we'll get this biopsy in there, spin it a few times, and then take this lump out. OK, okay that's a nice fit of that one. The key with this biopsy is to take it nice and deep, just putting a stitch in. This is clearly something that, as far as we know, hasn't ever happened before. Yeah. So, um, 
hopefully the answer will be in there. It's nice in there. I reckon we're done, Narelle. Yeah. All right, can wake up, hey? Any anaesthetic has its risks, and it's just why in this situation you can never relax. And, and so we're not going to take our eyes off him until he's well and truly awake. You use all sorts of little indicators to tell you when an animal is waking up. With a dog, they tend to chew. With a koala, their natural response is to grab hold of something. We'll know he's awake the moment he grabs hold of this finger here. The imaginary branch. Breathing's getting faster. Mm -hmm. Hello, mate. You right, buddy? Hmm? There up? it is. <laughs> He's got Jack. He's on now. The moment Jack does that to my hand, you know, he's back. Hello, mate. You're all right. He wakes up and it's a relief. We've managed to get Jack through today, but unfortunately his battles are far from over. It is going to be a nervous wait until we get his results back. Obviously, fingers crossed that they're not tumours and they're something we can actually treat. Hello, Jackie boy. What's going on? At the Australian Reptile Park, it's been a worrying time for Tim. Finally, Jack's biopsy results are in. Unbelievable. He has acne. He's two years old. He's turning from a juvenile koala into a man. They do it at this age. And he's a pimple-faced teenager. The good news is, it's not contagious. How's that nose of yours, buddy? How's that nose? Well, it's no worse. The spotty teenager will need daily treatment. Antiseptic wash first. Stay there. Uh -uh. Thank you. I need to scrub up his nose, his lips, his eyes, and just keep it nice and clean and exfoliate a bit of that old skin. And then once it's clean and dry, apply some moisturiser. Come here, pal. There we go. That's a boy. A little bit round your mouth. That's you all done. It's such a relief. Now Jack can be like a normal teenager. And he's showing signs that he's ready to breathe, and that's a good thing. He needs those bumps cleared up to look good for the ladies. There you go, mate. See you tomorrow, Jack. If you guys loved that video, great. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel below. That way.